In a little over a week, Oklahomans will head to the polls and make their pick for their party's presidential nominee. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. On Tuesday, March 1st, Oklahoma takes part in Super Tuesday, where we join many other states in our nation and pick our party's nominee for President of the United States. So be sure to set a reminder on your phone. It's very important. You go vote. Now, for those of you new to voting in Oklahoma, here's a quick primer. First off, you need to have already been registered to vote. If you weren't registered before February 5th of this year, sorry, you're sitting this one out. You won't be able to vote again until April or June, depending if you have an election scheduled in your area. Or you'll just have to wait for the general election in November. Oklahoma has a closed primary system, meaning those of you registered as a Republican vote in the Republican primary, and those of you registered as a Democrat vote in the Democratic primary. Now, if you're registered as an independent, meaning not Democrat or Republican, you're not left out this year. The Democratic Party of Oklahoma has invited independents to vote in the Democratic primary. The Republicans did not. So remember, independents, if you go, you're voting Democrat. When you go to the polls, remember to take a photo ID or your voter registration card with you. Oklahoma requires proof of identity before you can vote. The photo ID must have been issued by the state, federal, or tribal government. Remember, you could also take your free voter identification card you receive by mail from the county elections board when you register to vote. The law allows use of the voter identification card even though it doesn't include a photo. The voting process in Oklahoma is actually quite easy. Let me walk you through what I typically do when I go vote. I go to my polling location. I stand in line, not often long. I get up to the table where the voting officials are sitting. They ask you your name and your party. They look up your name in a big book. You show them your ID and you sign your name next to your name in the big book. (laughs) After that, they hand you a ballot and an ink pen. You walk over to one of the voter booths and then you mark your ballot. To do that, all you do is color in the square next to the name of who you want to vote for. That's it. No hanging chads. No fancy buttons, just color in a square. (laughs) When you're done, you walk over to the voting machine, and it looks kind of like a printer. But you feed your ballot into it, it beeps at you when you're done, ba-doop, ba-doop, and that's it. You're done. You voted. You get an I voted sticker on your way out the door. (laughs) The polls are open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. This gives you plenty of time to go vote. Now, everything I've told you can be found at the Oklahoma State Elections Board website at ok.gov slash elections. If you have any questions at all, it can guide you to the answer. Also, the people at your local county elections board will be happy to answer any of your questions. You can find their phone number in the government section of your phone book, or you can get the number at the Oklahoma State Elections Board website. Oh, and be sure to check out the online voter tool at the Oklahoma State Elections Board website. It will let you confirm your voter registration, help you find your polling place, let you view sample ballots, or track your absentee ballot. It's a very handy tool. I suggest you use it. Now, many people around our state tend to shrug off the primaries. Unlike the general election in November, they think the primaries are not important, when in fact, They are very important. To put it bluntly, the fringes of both parties will get out to vote in the primary. Those are the people that are typically on the far right or far left of the political spectrum. They are very vocal and very active. They are the ones who will pick the nominee unless you go vote. So remember, Oklahoma, 
on March 1st. Go vote. Here are my top five reasons you need to go vote in the presidential preferential primary on March 1st. Number five, the Supreme Court. Number four, it's how your voice is heard. Number three, it's one of the most important things you can do as a citizen. Number two, the Supreme Court. Number one, what else have you got going on on a Tuesday? Have you seen our mini whiteboard updates on Instagram or Snapchat? Uh, There we share news, events, fun, or whatever we just happen to doodle on there. So please give us a follow on Instagram or Snapchat at Blog Oklahoma. Did you know we have our own cafe press store? Of course you did. You heard me mention it last week. But in case you weren't here last week, hey, we have our own cafe press store. There you could purchase a t-shirt, coffee mug, tote bag, and other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on them. So just head on over to cafepress.com slash Blog Oklahoma podcast. New this week to the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist, I've added three great new rock tracks that I'm sure you will enjoy. You can listen to the playlist on Spotify and YouTube. I'll have the links to them and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. And thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast. I'm happy to announce as of February 21st, 2016, Blog Oklahoma has 899 registered Oak. Oklahoma bloggers. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get old to me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Remember, go vote on March 1st. Until next time. Thank <laughs> you.